Hi, I'm Jim Miller, Corporate Chef for Crest Corps. We're here at the Crest Corps William R. Baggett Hospitality and Conference Center. Um, we're going to take a look at cooking with our quick therm ovens today, and we'll also get into some roast and hull ovens and hopefully smoking different things down the road. But this is the first in a series of videos that we're going to do for you. Never hesitate to call if you have any questions. Here we have some traditional breakfast items. Um, we have the French toast. Um, children love to get those, of course, we know, along with the pancake on a stick. And, of course, the ultimate biscuit sandwiches, sausage, egg, and cheese. So let's get cooking. All right, let's get ready for breakfast. We've got a lot of hungry mouths coming in, a lot of children anxious to enjoy our food. So what we're going to do is turn the power on. As we do that, we're going to cook this, all this food, we'll do like at least three different items, all at the, uh, a higher temperature. We'll do them at uh, the 350 degrees. So we don't need the humidity side. We'll go to cook, and we'll turn that up to its maximum setting of 350. Push and set. We want to set the holding at 160. Push and set. And the cooking time on those would be about 25 minutes. Push and set. So the oven will now preheat. Uh, it should be up to temperature in about 8 minutes. Now that the oven's preheated, the oven will read push start. So we'll simply take our breakfast ingredients. The pancake on a stick. French toast. And of course our delicious sausage and egg biscuits and simply push start. The oven will now count down on the timer and the oven will be hovering at 350 degrees to get that food properly heated and safe for the children. Alright, now that the oven's gone into a hold cycle from cooking, our breakfast items are all ready to go. Everything from our tasty pancake on a stick, the sweet smelling cinnamon of the breadsticks, French toast, and of course our sandwiches, hot and toasty. If you see the low water switch illuminated, it's like, oops, I need to add a little bit of water to the control. That's all that means. It's not going to hurt anything. So just simply get another pitcher of water and you can add it to the water tank down below. Here we have the humidity water tank for the quick therm oven. Simply remove the cover. You'll see the heating element down below that'll heat the water. And there's also two float valves. Just fill it with four gallons of water. Replace the top. And you're ready to go. In uh, draining to clean out the water tank in the bottom of the unit, you can slide the oven over a floor drain in the kitchen as um, long as one is available. If not, you can also take a 12 by 20 pan, slide it beneath the unit itself, and then do the same process. Just pull that green handle toward the front. That will open the front drain valve and you can get the water out of the unit for cleaning and sanitizing tool, um, we do have a guideline for you that's set up for re-therming most of the normal foods that are used in every school food service operation. So you can find these online at our website at crestcore.com or simply reach out to us, send us a note, and we'd be more than happy to send you some laminated ones to put on your ovens till your people get acclimated to the oven itself. Okay, well, we just wanted to thank you for uh, taking the time to learn a bit more about the uh, quick therm oven from Crestcore and uh, we will continue to do different food items and different things to uh, help you along. If you see something that you're curious about, please get in touch with us. Um, you can reach us um, on the 800 number or at the website at crestcore.com and uh, we thank you for your patronage and all your support. Have a great day.